mess with my teacher. I'm going to T-bone on you. I'm going to let you know who I am. I don't care if you talk about me on ESPN. Right. I'm going to let it be known. I'm going right. to throw the ball like I'm a madman, but I'm going to pray when I get a touchdown. Come on. It's time to arise and... Got to understand the hour. Got to understand the moment. We've got to transition mentally to understand where we are. God needs you in the midst of darkness. He wants you around the holes. Are you listening to me? When somebody coming to job with a mini skirt with about eight inches of material and net stockings and walking around looking like Jezebel's first cousin, that's right. you got no business talking about her. That's your that's right. next convert, right. baby. Right. She's hurting inside. Some people, oh my God. You got no business sitting at home depressed and beat down. Get on Mobile Highway and go witness to somebody. Thank you. Get out there on Mobile Road and go find you a crackhead and put some of your light on them. Are you listening to me? It's time to rise and shine for your light has come. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go, there's going to be a transaction. I'm telling you, do you know that we are not... How do I say this? We're not benign creatures. Everywhere you go, you give off something. Yeah. I told you before that I, I ran into a witch one time who I knew was a witch, and she knew I knew she was a witch, and she was just a witch. She was just a witch. Say she was a witch. She was a witch. And she looked at me. I think I told you this before. She looked at me, but when she, when she walked into me, she stepped back, and she looked around me. She didn't look at me. She looked around. She went just like this. She said, oh, your aura is bright. I was thinking, what in the world are you doing looking at my aura? And she said, your aura is right. What is she saying? She said, you're giving off something. There's something on you that's shining. There's something about you. Do you know you can change atmospheres? I wish you were here for prayer this morning. We had prayer this morning, and in 10 minutes, we shifted this entire atmosphere. In 10 minutes. If you don't like the atmosphere, change it. If you don't like the way things are in your classroom, those kids come in demonized and messed up and jacked up and can't pay attention and mind all over the place, you don't need Ritalin, you don't need those ADD medicines, you need some olive oil and you need to open your mouth, you need to come in there and anoint those chairs and change the atmosphere of that classroom, those kids will come in acting like it's a Catholic school. Yes, yes mother, yes mother, they'll change their behavior, listen to me, you can do it. If you know how to arise and shine. Do you feel what I'm saying? It's your hour. It's your moment. It's your time. I mean, you can walk into a used car lot and confound a salesman. He don't even know what to say. He doesn't know how much you want the car for. I just, just put your glory on it. Listen to me. In your negotiations and contracts, you can win the contract because you have glory on you. You don't understand what I'm saying. You can confound darkness because you're in the light. And depending on how bright your light is, you can actually blind somebody. You've got to be careful with your glory. So, sweetheart, be careful how you get dressed in the morning. Be careful how you get dressed in the morning. Be careful how you carry yourself. Be careful because you got something on you. I'm telling you. It's more than Oscar de Lorente. It's more than Maybelline. It's more than the weave. It's more than the false eyelashes. But something's on you. Wherever you go, you're going to start commanding attention. And you don't have to move that backyard too fast. You already got something on you. Listen to me. And you got to be careful how you carry yourself. Because men are going to start noticing you. And they're going to want your phone number. And you got to realize it's the glory. It's not your push-up bra. It's the glory. Listen to me. Don't you be taken by that. And use that to lead them to Jesus. Everybody who tries to talk to you say, yeah, let's go on a date. Meet me Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, fresh and morning, house of worship, 150 East Fleming Road. Come on. I'll sit on the north side of the church, you sit on the south. But I want you to meet my daddy. Are you listening to me? My son went to Birmingham. Chris went to Birmingham. Boy, has never debated in his life. Just joined the debate team like three weeks ago. Went to Birmingham, debated people who had been debating all their life. I sat in some of those things. I said, man, she's been debating since she was two years old. That girl, bad. There were some bad people there, but boy, walked away with first place trophy in Congress. First place trophy in Congress. Why? Because it's time to arise and shine. Because something is on you. I watch him get up and speak like his daddy, and the judges open their mouth and say, who is this boy? After the debate, one of the guys went up to him and said, do you have any tips for me? He said, oh, this is my first time debating. <laughs> The judge was like, what? <laughs> Say arise and shine because you're a light. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's your season. 